Okay, so we, we're doing Facebook now, so introduce yourself one more time. Okay, man, it's Arne from the Twins. I've been a P-Funk fan for a long time, talking with George, Dr. Funkenstein. He was, I know him as the Twins since 1990. They showed up at my farm. They was about 18 years old, driving a, a pink. Six, a, it's a brown, brown. Brown? Yeah, brown. I thought somebody said pink. But it was a Cadillac. Like, a 69, 59 Cadillac, 69, 69, 69 Cadillac, big old wings, drove down the dirt road on this, I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? And they've been the historians on P-Funk ever since, I mean, they did this a couple of years ago, I mean, this is it. And they did one for Sly? Yeah, and one for Sly Stone. We're friends since then, man, I'm happy about that. Huh? I'm happy we're friends and we just keep in contact. With yeah, I mean, this is the history for real. All this shit. Now you got some other shit. Yeah. I put the book out, so he went and found the evidence of all of the shit I was saying in 1958, 57, yeah, 59. He got all this shit. A friend of mine was killed, Leroy Smith, in 1956, and I said it in the book. I didn't even know this article was in the paper. Read the article. Yeah. You read it. You read it. And the, the best one is this one. Eh? No, but read it. Read, ah. the, read it for them. Uh, well, it's, it's about a, a, a gang law between the outlaws and the Mohawks. And uh, one of the members of the outlaws got shot. And it was George's friend, Leroy Smith. He was 14 years old. Uh, and George just found out that actually they caught the guy. I didn't even know they caught It's in the newspaper. They caught the guy. You know, we was 14 years old, and that was a, that, you know, went through the hood forever. A 14-year-old boy, Leroy Smith of Newark, was killed by a shotgun blast fired from a car as he ran from an alley at the Clinton Hill section of the city. That's, what, yeah. that's where it was. Did you know that the Clinton Hill section was probably your family? No, no, no I didn't. Know. I knew the governor, the governor George Clinton, <laughs> man, man. but you the one traced it all the way back to the to the South, mm -hmm. <laughs> then South Carolina. She did that old DNA thing. Now I have uh, another thing I found was the first newspaper clipping of your first record label, Martin Records. Oh yeah, and uh, you won't say and, yes. You uh, won't say accidental yes. love. Accidental Roy Andy. And in September, uh, February 23rd, 1965, you signed a contract with him to get a, a Grady and, and a Fuzzy were there as well. Now, where the fuck did you find this at? <laughs> uh, Roy Andy of New York singer signs with the Parlor Production Record Company. Yeah. Plain Food Avenue Parlor Productions. George Clinton, president. Gene Thomas and Clarence Haskins, also of the company. <laughs> we did Roy Handy and Tamala Lewis, Vivian Lewis. That's Tracy, mother. I, you know, I found some some other uh, bits and pieces uh, here. This is a good oh. one. Here, the All Star Queen City Review, Seminary Vale Arts, the part of production dancers, Fuzzy Haskins and his band. It was a lo local record hops, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it was deep. We actually actually booked um, Little Anthony and the Imperials. That was mm -hmm. when they was, you know, had... Just died. started? No, they had died down. They had been yeah. famous and died down. Oh, okay. That was before his big comeback. We got him for like $400. In the, in the meantime... He got a hit record. We had already signed him for the show. Going out of my head. And you signed him right? Okay, that's And cute. we end up doing these this show, these also that was me, Sammy Campbell. Yeah. We did most of these shows. That's, that's, some that's more. the one I was doing with the money. Who are the part of production dancers? Just a couple of dancers. That, that, ooh, Ron Ford's brother. Oh wow. <laughs> Chico, oh, so they were they were Billy, Billy and Eddie's 
Uh, okay. Schoolmates. Okay. All right. Yeah. They were the other ones that, you know, wasn't playing music, but around their age. Mm -hmm. In Plainfield, Billy, Billy Nelson, so Chico. Wow. We They went to Detroit with me first. All right. Before we ever signed the deal, they went out there and we went to Golden World, Mr. Wingate, in a okay. audition. There's a dancers. Cool. Ron Ford was with me that time. He ended up staying. All right. He ended up staying in Detroit till we, a couple of years later, we got a hit record. Mm -hmm. That's fine, yeah. yeah. Sir? What's this? Well, it's, it's, you can have all these, you oh, know, it's, it's a bunch of papers and uh, going back to memory lane. And, uh, tea? Yes. Okay. So I hope George kind of like it. <laughs> Thank you. So this is your memory lane. This is uh, yours. God. And tell a story when you went to Motown and you found all the papers and you gave him some of his first contracts. <laughs> yeah, I didn't print them out. Uh, uh, it was. Uh, actually, you gave me a couple of copies. Yes, I yeah. And like you that. actually you talk about it in the book as well. Yeah. Uh, thanks for asking. You mentioned the twins in the book. I like that. I like <laughs> it. You mentioned this. yeah, the right. twins in Holland, and I said, yeah, yeah man, that's cool. Uh, no, well, uh, a friend of mine who was living in Detroit, uh, he called me. He said that. Uh, they're gonna tear down the, 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 the building. building. Yeah, and he went in there, and it was all dark. The, the building was totally empty. It, it was only uh, about seven or eight pages at, 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 in one room. And he picked it up, and it's it was and, and it was it was only it was uh, it was uh, original uh, letters from George <laughs> uh, to Mo to Joe Better. To so, Joe, to, 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 yes, uh, Joe Betty. and and, and back Lucy, so uh, to Lucy Wakefield and Janie Janie Finney, Janie Finney yeah. who I gave the letters to. Yeah, so I was I was begging for a job then. You know, what I'm saying they uh -huh. sent me twenty five dollars, and that, I ended up writing at Joe Bet, but that was when I was trying to get in touch with Smokey. Talk about Joe Bet while we we uh, uh, talk on the on the phone. Here I have. This is your first ever track you recorded for Joe Better. I've got the original acetate. That's the one I'm, in the book. That's the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. We play that. This is the, this is the one in the book. That's the only copy. And that's uh, we tracked down it. Sydney Barnes and George Kerr. Uh, no, uh, that's who I am. Stanley Osman, George Kerr, and George King. That was the first track. Oh, never. No, Stanley Osmond. That's, that's, um, wow. And uh, he, uh, I gotta get Stanley Osmond, whose name that was. That was somebody. I played the track. You're not hurting him, you're hurting me. It's the first track you you recorded for Joe I know, right, right, right. Sidney Barnes and George Kerr was the uh, boss at that time. No, no, there's nothing wrong. This is at A1 Studios, right? Yeah. Oh my God! That's where I met the Beatles drummer. What's his name? Pete 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 Best. Did you see? It's, oh the first, it's the first track of the Parliaments on Joe Better. It's the one of a kind estate I have I know. In, in the collection. I mean, you guys it's, a go, it's a holy grill. Bernard Purdy is playing drums. He has just got home from the army. I mean, this, that's so you much hear, history you in can there. Hear fuzzy as well. In fuzzy, it. Fuzzy, Calvin. Calvin and Grady. You're not hurting him. You're this, this is the first time I played it because nobody has heard this music ever. So people on Facebook, it's the first. Nobody has the music. PTV live exclusive. Give me a copy. Well, then uh, there's another memory lane thing. You talk about A1 Studio. Uh, this is the this is an acetate that a, a friend of mine has. Accidental. <laughs> it's the A1 Studio. Just mentioned the A1 Studio. It was a studio it was used by Joe Better. Uh -huh. Um. Martin Records also used it. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That was that was it. That was wow. And did you know that the uh, you did you did two tra you did two forty fives on J on Martin label, Roy Handy and Tamela Lewis. Right. But it's not a holy grail. There's an an unreleased acetate 
of just the parletes. Oh if, yeah. If it were true. Yeah, yeah. You know what? They end up on Lori label. You remember my tokens? Yeah. The tokens recorded them for me. They became the pets. Yeah. They became. Oh, yeah, on uh, what's the label? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Carnival. 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 Yeah. Right. And, but that, as that, as the parlette, they were on um, Lori, and uh, the tokens produced it. But Bright, this bright tune. I've got here the audio of the parletes for you. Yeah, what's that one? I okay. It's just original Martin Records acetate. Okay, yeah. Baby, oh baby, you baby. I did it. Debonair. Debonair. Yeah. <laughs> well, you oh, good. You good. Because so I used that lick later on the Debonair. Yes. I went ahead to check the guy. Oh, baby. baby. And I was just getting ready to do it again. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Oh, man. It's like you. <laughs> <laughs> you made my husband's day. Yeah, man. Thanks for, uh, you know. Let me show you your memory. You, and, uh, what do you get this shit? This is That's spooky. You know that, don't you? I've been wondering where the hell was the stuff that I did at Martin Records. Mm -hmm. I only, only printed like 200 copies. And that's like one of the biggest records in the Northern Soul. The Tamala Lewis yeah. uh, 45 goes now for 2,000 pounds. If you find an original one. Yeah, at first it's the Beatles and then it's Tamala Lewis. Yeah. Tracy's yeah. mom. Yeah, I know. That. Two thousand pounds. That's about two and a half thousand uh, dollars for an original copy. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a copy at home too. But I want you to send. I, I I gave you. A copy you gave me a copy when we came to your yeah. house in the in the uh, Florida in the nineties. Oh, okay. no, no, it's a farm. Yeah, that's how we got in. There was a <laughs> present to get in. <laughs> Damn, that's deep. Man. How does it make you feel? And that's funny because I knew I said all that book, I said all that stuff in the book. I don't know how much of this shit is colored by, you know, intake of drugs or how much my memory was. Let it, I knew it was in the vicinity. Yeah, well, but proof. To look proof. at that, that, and I never knew that that made, you know, that, wow. I never knew it was in the paper. Because well, everybody yeah. gets. And that was like. You make P-Funk music, we make, we are P-Funk historians, and we just did it with the book. <laughs> and then now we uh, try uh, to catch up with some other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I have, and then Martin Record. I have another, just a... Uh, Accidental Love. Uh, Tim, you don't want to come on I'm going to re-release that. Well, what, that's why I want to talk mm -hmm. to you about. Accidental. What's up, Tim? What's up, Amuka? Uh, What's up, Jeffrey? I saw you last night. It just it's the two things we did with Sly. And the whole uh, set was in track songs. What, you see the copy of the, the book? Mm -hmm. uh, see, now that's, that's all Sly stuff. And we, we made sure that Sly got a deal with the record company and we released the stuff. <laughs> the same with... Uh, What's up, Bernard Stewart? Obviously, you can have those. Oh, these are some of his early... This is the early stuff in the 70s. This is the live show at the, uh, at the, oh, at the great. film. Oh, great. We can look at it on the bus. And we... Uh, <laughs> we did the liner now. We did. We worked on the on the on those, uh, mm -hmm. and we got slide deal. So yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's up, Eric? Enjoyed you last night. You was jamming. Oh, cool. yeah. He's uh, getting ready to do a book now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah I just I spoke to him uh, last week. Yeah, oh, slide's yeah. doing yeah. really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's not doing the book with John, is he? No, no, no. Oh. Uh, I've, 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 I didn't. I so didn't. not for the for filming, but I've. Right. Um, you ready for the business? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. But, okay, say goodbye. Thank you very much, George, for your time. And uh, I'm glad to see you. Happy smile. <laughs> Go. And say hi to, hi to his brother. Rude, what up, dude? Mm -hmm. Twin. <laughs> you guys need to get to know the twins. They're worthy. All right, bye, PTV. Thank you.